everyone i hope you're all okay and thanks so much for joining me for a, another weekly vlog i've actually just arrived at home sense because i've been really itching to get here to have a look at some christmas decorations and some home bits and i'm really excited and i wanted to make like a full festive experience for myself so i stopped on the way and got a toffee nut latte as well so it's quite a nice little festive morning. I've got a really bad neck, it's so random. Let me just quickly tell you this story before we go into home sense. The other day I was like, almost like massaging your own head or like kind of rubbing your head. And I was like, oh, that feels so nice. Imagine actually having like a proper head massage. Like when I go to the hairdressers and get my hair washed, that is literally always my favorite part. I just love like people playing with my hair. Like it makes me feel so sleepy, I love it. Anyway, um, yesterday evening, I was really in the mood for head massage. So I just went on like Treatwell and just randomly looked to see if anywhere local had any like last minute availability. And there was a place and it did look a bit random and it was random. Let's just say it wasn't like a bougie place to say the least, but it was okay. And I thought, no, this will be fine. And it was okay. But two things, the way she like the position that she had my head in, my neck today is so sore, like twisting round, I can only go about there. It's like really stiff where it was like held in one position for so long and it just like, wasn't a comfortable position. I know they'd put like oil in your head for like a massage, but my hair was absolutely covered in it. Like it looked like I'd been dunked in a grease pot and I was washing my hair this morning. I haven't properly styled my hair by the way, I've just, roughly blow dried it and i'm having a, a no makeup day because i just i couldn't be bothered to do proper hair and makeup today i have got a hat to put on because i thought my hair does look a bit but then i feel like i'm gonna get quite hot in the shops with that on so this morning when i was trying to wash all this grease out of my hair um normal shampoo just like wasn't washing it out i could still feel you know i love that feeling when it's like squeaky clean and so i googled like what's the best thing to get your um to get oil out of your hair and there was loads of things like mixing like bicarbonate of soda with your thing i thought i don't really want to put that on my scalp and one thing that actually did work was fairy liquid I know I'm not going to get into the habit of using ferro liquid on your hair and I do not recommend it but obviously it's so good at getting like grease off of plates and stuff and it actually worked wonders my hair's never felt so clean obviously I used the ferro liquid and then I used my nice shampoo and followed on with the conditioner so it's it's like feeling all nice um but yeah not something I recommend but anyway was just having a good old sing song to Taylor Swift on the way because her she's re-released her 1989 album and I forgot that like i hadn't listened to it for a while and you know when a song comes on and you just know all the words i was having such a good little sing song anyway i feel like i might finish this before i go in because i want to vlog it and then with a the coffee my hands are just going to be too full i actually do need to quickly go back to two emails so i might just drink my coffee and do that before we go in well i'm all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do, we will be alright These holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true The love I live, the dream I knew This Christmas I only want to be close to It is now the evening and I've just done all really nice skincare put my pajamas on these are new pajamas i absolutely love them in the summer do you remember i had these they were blue and white striped they're kind of like a brushed cotton they're really soft anyway i saw that they came out in this new colorway and i just oh my gosh you know i love a neutral and the blue ones are like one of my favorite pairs of pajamas and i just love pajamas so much so I bought them and I love them. I'm gonna have a little solo girly evening, but Man U is on, so Tom wants to watch that, which is more than fine because I'm going to take my heated blanket, some snacks, a candle, get comfy and cozy upstairs 
on my own which i love and i'm gonna watch the new magic mic film that is out now on sky cinema candle is on just putting the heated blanket out if you get cold or you just like to be cozy you need one of these this is just oh my gosh it's just the best thing ever here is the new one magic mike's last dance so i'm about to watch this but also on my list at the moment she came to me it's got anne hathaway in and i watched the trailer and it looks really good i haven't watched like a really good rom-com in a while so this one is definitely on my list as well but tonight we're going magic mike i'm all cozy under my heated blanket and i thought that this was going to be a girl's night but i've had a four-legged boy come and join me I can't deal. It's like we're not even 10 minutes in and it's action packed already. They're in London. I love it in films when they come to London. I always find it so interesting, like watching where they film and where they go. I don't know whether I've just done the laziest thing or the most genius thing. My hair needed washing this morning because I'm filming at home today. But to wash all of my hair, I know it's short, but it's thick and it takes ages to dry and it I just didn't have time this morning so I just washed like I just sectioned this front section and just washed the front bit I don't know if that is so lazy or so genius but I'm verging on genius at the moment anyway just carrying on from last night I watched Magic Mike's Last Dance on Sky Cinema and I really enjoyed it so as I showed you it got into action like straight away which I really liked it wasn't a slow start it was bam straight in there dancing is so good and the music is amazing but it's not all dancing and singing it's not a musical there is actually a storyline to it it's just like the dancing kind of is involved as well you all know magic mike so i would definitely recommend watching the new one i watched on my own but if you were having a girls night in or seeing your friends it'd be so fun to watch like with a group of girls so a couple of films to add to your watch list this month are um magic mike's last dance she came to me a new rom-com got anne hathaway in that looks really good and there's also a film about george foreman which is based on true life events and his life story which looks really fascinating as well and christmas films are on sky cinema elf love actually the holiday literally some of my favorite films ever and they are on there i haven't watched a christmas film just yet but i am thinking like maybe next week i'm gonna do it so so yeah thank god for sky cinema in the lead up to christmas because christmas films are the thing that makes me feel so festive and they have got the best ones on there something i mentioned in last month's vlog as well if you are a sky cinema customer don't forget you can get two free view cinema tickets every month so i'll leave all the trailers and links to the free tickets down below i used to do monthly favorites videos but actually i felt like the format of doing like a whole video for favorites i just i don't know just i didn't think it was working so now what i'm gonna do is just include them in some instagram story uh roundups and i can just kind of you know share some in vlogs as well and two products that i have used this morning first of all this eye tint i haven't really used like a tint before but look at the little tool applicator and then i literally just do one swipe on each eyelid like a little goes a long way and then just use a fluffy eyeshadow brush and just blend it in i'm not very good at eyeshadow i just want like something very quick and easy and this is exactly that before i forget as well the chanel bronzer that i use all the time the universal shade which is 390 is usually always out of stock and i shared this on my instagram the other day and found three retailers with it in stock so i'll leave that um, link down below but putting any like beauty bits on your christmas list i just can't recommend this enough and this pot i was working out when i bought this this has lasted me over two years and there's still so much in there so although it's quite expensive to buy i think it's about 46 pounds um, and it does last you so long and then my final beauty fave is this it's the charlotte tilbury um, lip and cheek glow this is the shade color of dreams and i'm not i don't know why i just put more on my finger because i can't put more on because i've got quite enough on but can you see that like highlight it gives as well it gives a really nice actually i'll put, I'll put a little bit more on it gives like just a nice little flush of colour in your cheeks. Sometimes I feel like because I'm quite fair, I look quite like washed out. And cream blush on your cheeks, I feel like just just 
brings you back to life. Also, you can use it on your your lips as well. Right, I'm going to carry on getting ready and then I need to show you the Christmas bits that I picked up in HomeSense. I've also been into B&M and the range. So once I've done my makeup, I'll show you those. <laughs> something really controversial in the makeup world i don't like charlotte tilbury pillow talk i was just looking for what i was going to put on my lips and i found this and it's annoying because i have used it so i feel like i can't give it to anyone maybe i'll just give it a little wipe down and give it to a friend but the color on my skin tone just doesn't work this is like the original pillow talk and someone told me that there's like variations of pillow talk so maybe i need to try another color but for me this just comes out I just think it looks purple on my lips and it just, that colour doesn't suit me. But what I am just loving so much and I feel like I may as well just get rid of all my other lipsticks because I feel like this is all I'm wearing is the Hourglass Glossy Balm. Oh, this, oh, I've actually run out of this one, but there's still loads in there. That's not going to go to waste. I will use that. Um, I love it so much. So moisturising feels really glossy it doesn't feel like heavy or drying or matte or anything but if you are putting beauty things on your christmas list put this on there here is the back of my greasy hair and now the front is all clean i did wash like the parting section as well okay i really don't know what's happening with my fringe it seems to literally want to sit in the middle of my face today i know it's lazy just washing part of the hair but i think i uh, I, I think that's genius and I'm going to do that again because it took me 10 minutes maybe rather than half an hour, 40 minutes to wash and blow dry my hair. Anyway, sorry, I'm digressing. I'm digressing. Right, let's get the home scent stuff. I've just realised that I started to make my bed but only put one cushion on there. My brain, at the moment, I feel like I've got 40 internet tabs open and notifications and alerts are coming through on every tab. Right, the bits I picked up in home sense. I don't know where to start. Let's just start with this one. I bought this little star. I like the little wooden base it's on. And that was $6.99. I love these little white houses. And this is... I don't know what to call that. What is this? If you were to scrape your nail on that, that's going to feel horrible. Um, but I thought that was really cute. It does actually... Oh, I was just going to say, I think I have to put a battery in a bit. It's already got one in. I thought that was really cute. These aren't Christmassy as such, but I've just put them with the Christmas decorations because I'm not going to, like, rejig my decorations until I do the Christmas ones now. But I just thought these candlesticks were really nice. They've got, like, a beading... Not beading. Yeah, like, a detail around here. They're like, really nice, like, a... Um, antique brushed gold but I just wish that they were different sizes I just wish that they sat like that so I'm not a hundred percent oh they're from Zara home oh my god I didn't even look at this these have got yeah these are Zara home and they were in Zara 25.99 but I got them for 12.99 each I feel like they look too symmetrical having them like I don't know, I need to play around with those. And then I also got this, um, I don't really know what to call this, a little reindeer ornament, I guess. Let me do it this way so you can see him better. But I just thought that was quite unusual and I just really liked it. And that was, that was 9 99 Right, my camera battery is flashing at me, so I'm just gonna whiz through a few other bits. H&M Home, how cute love it b and m i got a tree topper because for the last few years we've had this star that every time we get it out we say we really don't like it but i haven't really found one that i like and then when i saw this i thought "Ooh, that could be quite nice what do you think of that one that was that was six pounds from b and m and then two things i got from the range were this reindeer stag wooden ornament i don't know just thought that was quite nice and then i also got this as well again this does oh again i thought i had to put a battery in that but it's already in there that does light up but that was really cute as well if anybody has a dog that likes to do a job and is just like a little busybody sometimes 
like Bertie. I forgot that we had this in the cupboard. I was actually just looking for something else and I found this and I thought, oh, I haven't done this for him for ages. And it keeps him busy. It stimulates him mentally and he really enjoys joys like get, getting all the little treats out. So I got these the other day, um, these little treat strips. I've cut them all up and then all you do is just like roll each one, just stuff it in there. <laughs> Okay, all done. Are you ready? Ready, sit. Good. Wait. Wait. Okay. Good boy. Whilst I was in London, I popped into Arquette to have a little look, see what they had. And I tried on this really lovely jumper. Look at the back detail. This was so gorgeous. I picked this up so I can't wait to style this more. Tried on this little black top as well. It had this really nice crinkly detail. Um, and I really liked that white piping down the middle, down the arm. Thought that could be really nice to dress up. Um, it was actually a lot longer. I had just tucked it up, um, rolled it up like, underneath just to style it with the skirt. I tried on these wide leg chocolate brown trousers and these fitted so nicely but I was worried that they actually looked black but now looking back at the footage they do look brown. Tried these ones on as well, they were a lighter brown but the style of these and where those um, darts were, were looked so unflattering on me, I really didn't like those. The style before were much more flattering. Merry Christmas, baby. Reindeer's coming out to play. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. It's quite vintage looking as a, as a brand, um, but all of them are centered around different personalities. So you'll see on the, on the names of them, they're all different names of personalities, very feminine, all the women. And some are real life and some are fictional. Um, but the idea is that you can adopt a different personality when you try that different fragrance. So it's a really beautiful concept. Um, and today we're here to launch the, the first kind of big fragrance launch from the brand in a couple of years, and it's called Lucia. It's a pleasure to introduce many of you to John for the first time, and I hope you will love the brand scent throughout autumn. When the girls said you can choose your favourite ladies to come along, I just thought what a dream and it's obviously such a nice intimate group and all of you inspire me in so many different ways. We are sat down for our afternoon tea now. Here is the menu. I've got a sparkling tea which is non-alcoholic. I've never had a sparkling tea before. It's actually so nice. Um, so here is the menu for the like main bit. There's no sandwiches. It's more of a I um, yeah. don't know what to call it, like a main course as such. I went for the Welsh rabbit with oven dried tomato and caramelised shallots. And then we get scones and cakes. This is always like my favourite part because I've got such a sweet tea. Here it is. I think it's one of the pacho bread, um, the Welsh rabbit cheese, and then the caramelised shallot. I don't actually like tomatoes. I like when it's like in something, maybe more like pureed or something, but actual tomato. I really don't like the texture of it, um, but the rest I cannot wait to look into. H&M on Oxford Street and oh my god look at their party wear I absolutely love it I love this cardigan with the black bows and this dress is so nice these are online now um, I'm gonna do a little H&M party wear edit because I've just been in and they've got so many nice bits I want to write up a song for just anyone I I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations so. 
I've just been making a little cozy edit for my Instagram and I just had to show you. This is just me on a rail, cozy, neutral, and more cozy, comfortable. Oh, love it. It's like winter heaven. I'll leave everything linked down below and then I will be styling it up over on my Instagram next week. It's been a rather busy day and I just came to talk to you and there's not a tidy area for the background so I don't know what to do. It's mess everywhere. Everywhere in my house is messy and I just, I just can't deal with it. But especially when I'm filming I just keep making more mess and now I'm too tired to tidy it up. And I just think that's tomorrow's job and then tomorrow rolls around and I have more stuff to film. And then it's a cycle. I'm putting together loads of giveaways for Christmas. So I've kind of got all of that out. There's just stuff everywhere. To feel it, it's making me feel overwhelmed everywhere I look. There's just stuff. Anyway, a moment of peace. Ignore the crap in the background. I made an exciting Amazon order. How cute are these? I saw them on Molly Campsey and she influenced me to buy them. They are the cutest little ankle socks with teddy bears on. These are like the perfect socks to wear Oggs with. Like the cutest socks ever. They did take a little while to come. They had other colours as well and different coloured packs were on different delivery times. But these took like over a week to come, which is quite a long time for Amazon. But yeah, they're so cute. Anyway. I was putting together an outfit this morning and I thought I really like that and I wanted to share it on here as well. So here it is. The base is like a really simple autumn base. Blue jeans. These are actually a few years old from Mango but they're very similar to the Levi ribcage style as well. I'll try and find some similar but these are just like a dark blue straight leg jean. And then I put it on with a cream knit. This is from H&M last year or the year before, but it's just a simple like round knit jumper. I'm sorry that this is so chaotic. I usually like my vlogs to be very like calming and relaxing, but to be honest right now, my life is anything but that. It's just, just mess and chaos everywhere. Anyway, we move on. I love a little matchy matchy and whenever I wear a colour in an outfit, for example, in this look, I really wanted to wear my Ugg boots. And actually I had this coat from last year. This is from Mango. And so these go so nicely together. That's a little styling tip that I love to live by. If I'm going to add a certain color or shade, I'll try to bring that in in another area as well. So it's not just one random little color. It's distributed throughout the outfit and it looks a bit more put together so I think that this coat and the Uggs work so nicely together and I think the light cream underneath that brighter lighter color keeps it nice and fresh and then just for a bit of detail I popped a striped jumper on the shoulders I love adding a jumper on my shoulders it's not for warmth it purely is for decoration but I think it just adds that extra layer. So it is actually warm, it does keep your back warm. Um, but it just adds that extra detail that I really like. So I thought that was quite like an easy classic look with like some really simple pieces that you might already have in your wardrobe. So I wanted to share that. I actually don't think I've ever spoken about this on here, but I've been having, probably since like the beginning of the summer, regular lymphatic drainage massages. I found a local lady who does it like manually, it's all with her hands. It takes takes I think the treatment maybe is like an hour and 15 minutes and she literally pummels my entire body and it feels so good it's really good if you've got um what's the word like uh, water retention and it's just good for like cleaning everything out and getting everything in your body moving again so I love going to her I am a bit anxious about how that is going to feel on my stomach but I'll just, she knows what's been happening, so if obviously it feels a bit tender or sore, obviously I'll tell her to stop, but I think it'll all be fine. Then when we get home, I need to cook dinner and tidy all this mess, and I want to sort out my makeup drawer, and I need to get this vlog edited. So a busy evening ahead, but it's all good, because tomorrow is Friday, and I'm weekend plans, I don't have any plans for Saturday. Probably gonna spend the entire day tidying the house, and then Sunday, we're actually having my family round for a roast, so I'll probably do the food shop on Saturday, get that all prepared, one less thing to do on Sunday. So that's that. So I'll see you later when I'm back. 
I'm ending this vlog with another giveaway. In all of my vlogs leading up to Christmas, there will be a giveaway. And today's is the Jo Majori 12 Days of Sparkle. It's a jewelry advent calendar. It comes in this beautiful box. And then inside you've got 12 days of jewelry gifts. There's all sorts from um, earrings, necklaces, bracelets. It's such a gorgeous advent calendar. So I'll leave all of the giveaway details in the description box below. Mm -hmm. 